The DPA Duo system is suitable for anaesthetizing adult or pediatric spontaneously breathing patients or with assisted manual ventilation. The machine combines the benefit of two inline vaporizers, connection for supplementary oxygen, a patient pressure gauge, and an optional vital sign monitor to ensure complete patient safety. Open the case and remove the patient circuit. The DPA Duo is ready assembled with only the patient circuit and PEEP valve required to be connected. Connect the self-inflating bag to the front of the inspiratory valve via a silicon tube. Connect one limb of the patient circuit to the outlet of the inspiratory valve and connect the other limb to the expiratory valve. Rotate the reservoir bag located at the back of the reservoir block 270 degrees. Test the circuit is complete by using a test lung or one litre bag. A smaller self-inflating bag and silicon circuit is provided for paediatric use. An AIRS T-piece can also be fitted if required. In order to use a T-piece, the supplementary oxygen must be at least three times the patient's minute volume. The DPA Duo is supplied with two vaporizers that are suitable for sevoflurane and either halothane or isoflurane to maximise the resources available, making the DPA Duo an ideal anaesthesia solution for low resource health systems. The dual vaporizers permit the safe delivery of a gaseous induction using sevoflurane before switching to isoflurane or halothane. This allows the anaesthetised state to be maintained at an economical rate. The gas flow in the circuit works by entraining air through the one-way valve at the front of the reservoir block. This is either controlled by the patient's own inspiratory effort when spontaneously breathing, or through controlled manual ventilation by the anaesthetist squeezing the self-inflating bag. One side of the tube connects to the inspiratory valve, and the other side connects to the expiratory valve. Now we can see as the gas flows out down one side of the tube and back down the other side. PEEP and scavenging can be applied on the 30mm outlet of the expiratory valve if required. To adjust the PEEP valve, remove the valve by pulling it away from the clear case. To adjust the valve, turn the red cap clockwise to increase pressure and anti-clockwise to reduce pressure. The PEEP valve pressures range from 0 to 20 cm of water pressure. The patient circuit valve consists of an inspiratory side and an expiratory side. The two sides are linked by the stabilising tube that transmits pressure during manual ventilation to close the expiratory side, allowing the lung to be ventilated. Supplementary oxygen can be added to the system either from an oxygen concentrator or from an oxygen cylinder using the regulator supplied. If using cylinders, use the regulator gauge to determine when the cylinder is nearly empty and needs changing. There is an oxygen flow meter fitted to regulate the flow. As the gas flow rate increases, the float is carried further up the tube, indicating the flow rate. If the level of oxygen supplementation is less than the patient's minute volume, the bag will empty. If the oxygen supplementation is increased, the bag will fill and the circuit will become continuous flow. The overpressure valve on the reservoir block avoids excessive pressure in the system. The patient pressure gauge measures pressure generated by ventilation in centimetres of water pressure, either from the self-inflating bag or from a suitable connected ventilator. This gauge provides indication control of the pressure being delivered to the patient.
The patient monitoring options provide continuous and accurate monitoring with intuitive user interface for accurate readability of all parameters. The monitor can be fitted or removed by the simple screw mechanism. The DPA Duo has two vaporizers fitted with a pivot interlock system allowing seamless and controlled changeover between both vaporizers with no possibility of having both units in the circuit simultaneously. The vaporizers are designed to be used with specific anaesthetic agents and are equipped with filling systems to enforce the same. The vaporizers can hold up to 150 milliliters of anaesthetic agent and the level of agent should always be visible in the sight glass. To select a vaporizer, first you must set both vaporizers to zero, and then to select which vaporizer you require, push down on the opposite pivot arm. Once selected, the vaporizer lever should move freely. The Siva Fluorine vaporizer is fitted with key fill and is simply filled by pushing the bottle into the filler cap. The settings on the Siva Fluorine vaporizer are 1 to 4% and a further setting for induction that will provide a nominal 8%. The isofluorine or halothane vaporizer is calibrated for either of those agents. The scale runs from 0 to 5%. It is filled by unscrewing the cap and using the funnel supplied. If the DPA Duo is being used in conjunction with the Helix Portable Ventilator, then the circuit block is removed and the ventilator outlet is simply connected to the DPA inspiratory valve in place of the self-inflating bag. To set the initial patient pressure, run the ventilator while occluding the patient valve outlet. Adjust the pressure control until the desired pressure on the gauge is shown. The internal battery will run for 100 hours without the need to recharge. To recharge the battery, connect the mains charger here. It will accept any voltage from 100 to 240 volts, and there is also a 12 volt charger supplied. The ventilator can be driven by any gas supply from 1.5 bar, 20 psi, to 5 bar, 75 psi. If a suitable oxygen concentrator is used, the drive gas tube can simply be connected directly from the concentrator outlet to the drive gas inlet on the ventilator. If the gas source is from an oxygen cylinder, the drive gas tube is connected to the cylinder 4-bar regulator. 